Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Karis Time and it is time to brawl and I just wanted to start out this video by first of all saying thank you for being <laughs> so awesome. For real though guys, your response really inspired me. I had I had friends texting me, I had tons of people DMing me, I had in response to my last video, my brother called me, he doesn't play Brawl Stars. Uh, and he was just like, hey man, are you doing okay? Like, are they killing Brawl Stars? Like, are, how are you going to be? How are you going to be? Um, social, you guys totally flooded social media with hashtag don't kill Brawl Stars. Tons of private messages. Everybody, you guys have not only been just showing your support toward Brawl Stars um, and it not getting killed, but also on top of that, you guys have also been very supportive of me and my channel. And... It's been it's been really reassuring and I really do appreciate you guys so much. Last night when I saw what was going on that they just totally deleted um, all of their social media and stuff, that was that was a scary moment for me and I really panicked. And I wanted to get out a video as quickly as I possibly could and Lex and I just had a brief conversation about possibly sharing that inside information with you guys and since then I really do want to apologize for sharing those things. I mean, the things that I said were, were true as far as like what Ryan has said um, about, <laughs> well, anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But I do feel bad because I feel like just sharing that inside information before the community was ready for it um, or before really Supercell was ready for me to give it out or whatever, whatever. I think that it may have caused more p fear and panic than I would have liked it to. So I am sorry for that. Once again, sorry guys, no gameplay today. Yesterday was kind of a crazy busy day with um, baby Kairos and everything. And I've been like not able to work on a video. So once again, I still do not have a, I still don't have gameplay for you. This video, I stayed up late tonight because I was thinking, hey, it was around midnight my time that Brawl Stars had, that that change happened with social media. So maybe around midnight, something. Well, anyway, stayed up late and we have some news, okay? Now, I'm recording this about about 30 minutes after this happened, um, but you'll be getting this probably a couple hours later. It takes me a little bit to like um, end my videos and stuff. But if you go look at their Twitter and their Facebook um, and their YouTube, they now have a link. Well, I don't know about Facebook. I didn't check Facebook. They now have a link to a stream is on Brawl Stars' YouTube channel. Now, this video has, this stream has a 24 hour countdown from when they first announced it. And people have been in there posting messages in the chat. People are put, putting in hashtag don't kill Brawl Stars. They've been putting it's dead. Like, I don't know what to think um, about it. I just saw it. I don't know. Okay, so there's a couple of things. So first of all, there's still a very real possibility of Brawl Stars being killed. Um, after having some time to like actually think and process and actually get some sleep after last night uh, and reading over, you know, I've been watching people's videos and speculation, Reddit posts. I've been, and yesterday I was like 100% convinced it was going to go, it was going to get killed. And now, I don't know, I think I'm like on the fence, guys, and I don't like being on the fence with this. But there's, okay, so let me, let me talk about that. So first of all, there are some very real reasons why this stream video could be them announcing killing the game, okay? Now in the past, when the Supercell has killed a game, they've done it through just a post um, and Twitter and things like that. I think somebody, you'll, you may have seen some videos of people showing like the Smashland post. So they're, that's how they've done it in the past with a couple of games that weren't super successful. Um, now Brawl Stars though, Brawl Stars is a completely different beast, okay? We've been out in beta for a year and a half. That's a that's a really long time. And if they were to kill Brawl Stars with just a post after a year and a half, after people have spent hundreds of dollars into the game, after people have spent countless of hours playing in the game, I don't even know how much I've played it. Like, if I, I don't know, like days, months worth of out like hours just playing i don't know i don't know so this video this this stream that is going to be released the the question is i mean like if they're going to let the community down then a post feels insensitive like a just a post just like saying hey here guys here's what's happening that to me feels like kind of a slap in the face like yeah sorry guys here's just a post you know a video where 
Ryan, I mean, the title of it is We Need to Talk. A video would be a lot more personable. Like if Ryan, if, if the stream starts and Ryan's on, uh, you know, just like a, a regular, like, like what you would expect of other Brawl Talks and things like that, then, you know, <laughs> I can just see him sitting us down and just being like, hey, guys, here are the reasons, you know, and going through and talking about it in a very personable way to try and answer all of our questions in a video. I mean, that that to me, um, where I have been, <laughs> I mean, nothing that he can say if the game is being killed is going to make me feel good, but at least it would feel more sincere and at least it would feel more real than if they were just to put out a post. And where it just says, we need to talk, like that to me does seem like, <laughs> that does seem to me like they are <laughs> planning on talking about the game being killed, which, <laughs> oh man, if that happens, I think I just have to put the chat down while I'm watching it and just like not read it because I can't, I just couldn't. I mean, they, this is typically how they would actually like reveal a, um, a new game, okay? So with Clash Royale, it was a, it was a live stream. It was like a, a YouTuber, um, live stream or something like that. I mean, my hope is that they're going to release some sort of a video like announcing that the game is going to be going global. Like some sort of like, hey guys, get your pants on because tomorrow you're going to be able to download it no matter where you're at. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your, tell your grandma. That would be epic. Like that's what I hope. But I still cannot, I, I just still cannot get over the fact that it's titled We Need to Talk. <laughs> like... Ah, what in the world is going on? Now I have heard some theories like, um, like they're just gonna be renaming Brawl Stars to a different game, like Brawl Stars Two or like Brawl Avengers or something like that. And uh, I, I, I can see where people are going with that idea. Like that's why they want a clean start with deleting social media and stuff like that. But honestly, I think that it would be really unwise for them to do that. They've already increased their um, SEO value or their search engine optimization value because like all of the content that I've created has helped increase um, interest, Google interest into Brawl Stars as well as all the other YouTubers, um, the Reddits, the Twitters, all of the Facebook, everything has helped to increase their value. And it seems it would be really stupid. It would be stupid of them to rename it at this point. That would really suck for the YouTubers because then we would lose all of our value as well. And YouTube would treat it like we're switching to a different game, even though it's the same game. But that would, it would be a nightmare. I would hate that. Then the most far-fetched idea or theory that I've heard from people is that they've been, uh, they've been hacked. Um, this is super a funny idea. I, I would seriously doubt that they've been hacked, like unless they hacked YouTube, um, their Twitter, their Facebook, their Instagram, and their in-game notifications all like within an hour They're without Supercell stopping it. Like there's, this is Supercell. This is the, this is their decision. They're doing this. Um, there's obviously there is that option of killing the game and while I do think that that is a possibility I just I just don't know I, it's still an option and I talked about all the reasons why that's a valid option in my last video what I'm praying for is that this is all some sort of a ploy to increase hype for a global release or something like that. And I think there's a lot of sense in that ar the argument. Um, as far as like other than killing the game, I think that this makes the most sense. Like that's that's that that would make sense to me at least in to some degree. Anyways, guys, I am really anxious to see what happens. I want to know what you think it is, and please put a comment in the section below and let me know because I have no idea, guys. This is this is just gonna be crazy. <laughs> no matter what happens. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.